My God, journalists are just so bloody ignorant, it's not true. I know I've harped on about them recently, only because they could be a massive part of this nightmare coming to an end, if only they took their head out of their asses and started to think and report rather than just repeat what they are told. Look at this article by the legend in his own lunchtime, Jeremy Warner of the Tory Graph. Look to your jobs, the robots are coming. A second machine age is dawning, and it's not only Bob Crow's striking tube workers who will be made redundant by the rise of the intelligent machines. The article goes on to basically say that anyone who isn't a fancy tech guru, or anyone who doesn't have special skills, such as the famous Jeremy Warner, is done for. The robots are coming to replace you, and there is nothing you can do about it. He goes on to ask what would be the most obvious question if your family had just been replaced by robots and were facing a life of struggle and starvation, and that is, what is the government going to do with a lower tax base? I mean, come on, how on earth will the government afford to pay their rich land-owning friends huge subsidies for putting useless wind turbines on their land? Or how will they afford to give the rich more tax cuts or continually bail out the bankers if the tax base is decreasing? Just what will the government do with a reduced tax base to steal from? Now, what this self-professed legend is saying is that the lower classes will be replaced by robots. But not him, not his type, his peers. They won't be touched because they have special skills. So he tells us... You can tell that Mr. Warner wrote this article with a huge smile on his face. But of course this arrogant little fuckwit is having a laugh. Journalists, in my opinion, will be the first profession to be dumped and replaced by robots. After all, how hard is it to copy and paste? But you can't see this, can you, Mr. Chemley Warner, whatever your name is? Because you toe the line with your reporting and do as you are told, you think that somehow you are special. Well, you're not. Let me tell you this, Mr. Chumley Warner. I would put money on it that you and your ilk are replaced before bin men, you arrogant spudhead. These people think they're so superior, so special, when in reality they just can't see how irrelevant and how easily replaceable they are. Even in an article such as this, one that's describing the fall of man and the rise of the machines, he writes it as if A. It's a really great thing, and B. That it's a foregone conclusion that this is going to happen. But just think about this for a few seconds. Where would you rather eat? In an eatery served only by robots that replaced your friends and your family's jobs? Or a quiet pub somewhere served by humans? eating alongside other humans, buying a pint from a human, passing the time of day with a human. Where would you rather buy your car from? A company run and owned by robots or humans? Who would you rather discuss your overcharged phone bill? A robot with all its Have a nice day, sir. There's nothing else I can do for you today, sir. I'm terminating the call, sir. I'm blocking your account, sir. Or a human to whom you can explain the situation Know that they will act accordingly, showing you empathy towards your situation. These are the questions Jeremy Fuckface Warner fails to ask. To him, it's cut and dried that the robots are going to get rid of the type of people that he doesn't like. Are we really going to let this happen? This is up to us. It's a choice. I will avoid the robots like the plague, because we all want human interaction. Don't we?